sitting here representing Intro Magazine and Needle and Groove Magazine right here at 107.9 in Cleveland, Ohio, Radio One's DJ Touchstone. How are you, sir? Well, how are you? Hey, man, it's good to be in Cleveland. Hey, man, so Doc, what you doing? You're spinning live today, right? Yes, sir. Now, tell, tell everybody how long you've been DJing. Uh, I've been DJing for 21 years um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, 21 years and 14 going on, 14 in uh, radio. Uh, in Philadelphia, and I've uh, been here in Cleveland for about almost two years now. Um, doing five o'clock on the uh, WENZ. All right, now how'd you get into DJing? What was your start? Who turned you on to it? Um, boredom. <laughs> 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 no, really, it was my mom keeping me sheltered in the house um, because of the fact of me being um, blind. My mom was one of those people that was like, okay. You can't go outside, you can't do this, you can't do that, you know, or it was, you can only go a certain distance. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was like, okay, that wasn't good enough for me. Right. So let me find something else constructed to do with my time. And my mom always kept a record collection around the house mm -hmm. where, you know, whether she was cooking, cleaning, entertaining company, whatever, there was always music playing in the house. And so for me, it started with her records, her record player, mm -hmm. and, you know, from there, it was just history. Now that's like everybody's story. Now I have to inquire: How did you make it happen for yourself, being that you're legally blind? Well, for me, it happened because I was one of those people that you can't tell me no. Right. I, like, okay, you tell me no if you want. I'm gonna show you a way that I'm gonna do it. Right. And it's gonna get done. And for me, it was, um, you know, just being a fan of music. I was, uh, I've been and always have been a lover of music ever since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So, um, and plus I used to listen to what DJs did on the radio and try to figure out how they, you know, put two two records together. Right. And of course, you know, it took two turntables. So, for me, of course, with my mom's a record player, it was like, all right, so I got to go find another one. And, you know, after a while, it was a part of it started as well just moving the record back and forth on her record player it was like okay I like the way that this sounds mm -hmm. and was intrigued by that so um, I guess around 14 is when I got my first job it took me about two years to save up I got my first pair of turntables at 16 mm -hmm. and at 16 I would practice every day in the basement for about a good three four years how did you familiarize yourself with which record was what, and how did you do that? Um, the feel of the label, because back then all records had different um, different grooves on them, um, so yeah. I could tell you know <laughs> what label was what mm -hmm. uh, by feeling it, and so and also I, I always put everything systematically in my own order. What? I knew where everything was. Now, fast forward to today's time. I'm sure you have an electronic. Set up now, digital Serato, setup. Yes. Use Serato. Yes. Now, how are you able to conquer Serato? Same thing. Same thing. Putting everything in my own order to where I know where it is. All right. So your memory is ridiculous. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> I can't remember the phone number from the girl I got last night. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm touched on. We listen to your mixes. You live on NZ for like last two years. Have you gone any tours? You worked in the artists? What else have you um, done? Looking forward to touring. That's probably the next uh, part of the career that I'm that I'm working on. That's a lot of fun. I'm yeah. Oh no, I, I've had a chance to uh, go a couple places already. Um, mm. I've been to Bermuda twice. That's and, hot. Uh, and loved it over there. And so uh, I think I'm going back in the, uh, the end of the year. Oh, great. For New Year's. Um, and uh, I, you know, I've had a chance to, to go a, a few different cities and, and do some different things, but on a grand scheme of things, on a, on a bigger scale, I would love to um, go do a tour. As far as an artist, I just I, I just want to find the right artist. Right. For me, I'm one of those people where I'm a perfectionist. So mm -hmm. it's like, if I can't do it right, if I can't do it right, I don't want to do it at all. Right. You totally know? understand that. So, um, you know, that that's, those are some of the some of, the, some of the things I'm looking forward to doing. What words would you give to a young DJ starting off now, aspiring to come up and do their thing? What, what kind of advice would you give them? Know your history, hone your, hone your craft, and get your money. 
Give me five on that, man. Yes, sir. Get that money. Yes, sir. Get your <laughs> money. Don't look. Don't let these listen. Don't let these promoters try and tell you, you know, oh, I only made such and such. Which chances are they ain't gonna tell you what they made anyway. Exactly. Still, without the DJ, there is no party. There it is. You heard it live right here, office of my man. Kobe Cole, 107.9 NZ in Cleveland, Ohio. We're sitting here with none other than DJ Touchdown. We're about to go catch him in the studio. You're about to do your thing live in a minute, right? Yes, sir. And we also on, be a U, U stream as well. And he's on U stream. Yeah, and you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, What's your Twitter? At DJ Touchtone215. What's your website? Uh, DJ Touchtone.net. And if they want to hire you, how they call you? 215-550-1006 or you can email me at bookdjtouchtone at gmail.com. Definitely got it all lined up for you. Professional DJ all the way around. He don't need to see you to make the money. He gonna make the record spin. DJ Touchtone right here, baby. It's your boy DJ Quest 95, Intro Magazine, Needle and Groove. We out. There he is, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. All right. Let me help you get back. Yeah, I appreciate it. No problem.